so hi and hello welcome to our channel name elgo exploration my name is sameer and today we will going to learn about selection sort so before going to actual selection sort let me first build some intuition that how this selection sort will work this is the first question that we have given an array of n element and we have to return the kth smallest number okay let me explain you with the help of an example so we have to return the fourth smallest number now this is the first smallest number 15 will be second smallest number the third smallest number will be 23 and the fourth smallest number will be 33 okay so actually we have to return the element 33 so how can we solve this the first approach will be sort the array and then return the kth element from the left hand side or return k minus 1 element okay so for sorting the time complexity will be n log n you can use either merge sort or quick sort and to return the k element from left hand side it will be constant so the time complexity for this approach will be order of n log n okay now how can we optimize this the second approach will be pick an element put it in correct place and do this for k number of time let me show you how now first we have to find the smallest element so here the smallest element is actually 8 now since we are doing this for first time the 8 should be at first position right so 8 will be here what about 23 we will just swap it with it so 23 will be here and what about the other number we will write as it is now again we will find the smallest number from index first till 8 so the next smallest number will be actually 15 so what we will do we will swap it 15 with 56 right because 15 is a second smallest number it should go in first index 8 15 56 will come here and 23 and all the other number we will be putting as it is so this we have done for second time now again we will do this now we will be finding the third smallest number from 2 index 2 till 8 now the third smallest number is actually 23 and with what we will swap with 23 only now again we will find the smallest number from index 4 index 3 till 8 the next smallest number is actually 33 right so with what we will swap we will swap with 42 because 33 is a fourth smallest number and it should reside in index 3 42 will come here 91 56 77 and 62 now we have done this for four number of time so we will return D K minus one element. Okay, so what will be the time complexity here? We are actually finding the smallest number, which will take n time, and how many times we are doing this for k number of time. Therefore, here the time complexity is will be order of n into k. And what about the space complexity? This will be order of one only. Okay, so let's see the pseudo code. now how many times we are actually finding the smallest element for k number of time right so i will be running from 0 to k now the minimum variable i have declared it as maximum value and similarly the minimum index i have declared it as maximum value only 
now we have to find the minimum value j will be running from i till n now we will find the minimum value if a of j is less than minimum then we will put that value in minimum variable and we will store the index as well because further we have to swap it after the end of the inner for loop we will swap a of i with a of minimum index right and after the outer for loop we will simply return a of k minus 1 so the time complexity will be order of n into k and the space complexity will be order of 1 right now if we want to find the fourth smallest number elements from 0 till 3 were sorted right similarly if we want to find the sixth smallest number if we do this approach the elements from 0 to 5 are in a sorted manner similarly what if we want to find the nth smallest number so the elements from 0 to n minus 1 are in a sorted manner this actually nothing but a whole array is being sorted right so using this behavior only where k will nothing but n we use this approach to sort the whole array and this is nothing but a selection sort that we will select a particular number and we will put that number in its correct place and we will do this for k number of time so this is nothing but a selection sort so this will this is the pseudocode for a selection sort in which i have just changed the value of k where k is now n here you can see that k is nothing but n and all the code is actually same at last we will simply return the whole array right now what will be the time complexity it will be n into n that will be order of n square what about the space complexity it will be order of one so due to this it is also called as a in place sorting algorithm is it a stable sorting no it's not it is unstable okay this is actually a selection sort in the next lecture i'll be explaining insertion sort so thank you